Hey, music friends and family, this is Trey from Drawn Together, guitar player, and I do the production and the mixing and mastering for our band, help get our music out there. And we're going to start doing these little educational, kind of like production diaries, um, so I can kind of show what I do and what I've learned and share some interesting things that we've had to do to try to get our music sounding as best we can and share a little education. This is going to be really music nerdy, so I understand if that's not necessarily for everybody, but some people may find this really interesting in how we tackle some of our issues. And the thing we're going to discuss today is vocals. And vocals are the most important part of the song, in every song. And I know as a guitar player that's a lot of work for me to put aside emotionally that maybe I'm not the most important part of a song, but so it is. And so, anyway, our awesome singer Chuck helps make my job really easy because he just records great parts and he's a great singer. But sometimes you have to do some extra clever things from time to time to make things sound the way you want them to sound, poke out in the mix, and really sound thick. And with vocals, that's something that requires a little extra care. Um, and so, in our band, we have this ongoing debate about the benefits of doubling and tripling vocals, which is kind of necessary to produce a really thick and good sound, but none of us like that it sounds like our singer is four singers singing the thing, same line. So, to combat that, I've been coming up with some workarounds for how we deal with doubles, and this has worked out pretty well for me. So, this is our song, Timeline. This is the start of the chorus. And a lot of work has gone into making sure that Chuck sounds like Chuck and not three Chucks. But to get them big, wide, and really punch through the mix, we have to do a couple of things. And how I've gotten to where I combat this is I get Chuck to sing three. And on the screen here, you can see these three are Chuck. We have a main Chuck and a double and a triple. And these are real triples, not copied and pasted triples. And so I take one and pan it hard to the left. So it's coming out of your left speaker, one hard to the right, coming out of your right speaker. And then I do a little bit of something to it. So let me let you hear them all together. Cause on a time line from nothing into something There's a fine line from hiding and from running Maybe this time there might be So you can hear that there's a big wide expanse of Chuck running from the left to the right Also I hope you're listening to this on either headphones or high quality speakers Because some of this may be hard to hear if you're not So what I've done here is with our little left and right doubles The biggest thing that I've learned to do is put saturation on these doubles. And what saturation does is it's kind of like a distortion and I'll let you hear them here in a second but what it does is it really adds a lot of content to the area of Chuck's voice that really pokes through the mix but if I have too much of it it sounds really distorted so let me let you hear it. Cause on a time line from nothing into something there's a fine line from hiding and from running maybe so you hear that that's really distorted sounding. But when you mix it in with the other vocal in the song, you can't tell. But having that extra grit, having that extra sound that pokes right through that part of his voice that really cuts through the mix is really important to us getting a really large upfront vocal sound. And you don't ever think that it's more than one person. So let me just demonstrate by taking these in and out of the song as we listen to it. And hopefully you can hear a little difference when we take them away. Hopefully it shouldn't sound like when we put them back that there's a, a dozen of our singers singing, but it should help it really push through and get a little bit more energy. So here, let's listen to this. Well, hopefully you could hear that. It really makes a big difference in helping fill out a vocal and help it poke through the mix. And that's just one of the little things that we can do to help make this 
the music a little bit more exciting. So anyway, if you enjoyed this, leave me a comment, like, and subscribe to all of our stuff. Check out our music. Um, I'll have all the links below where you can get to them. Um, we're going to keep doing more videos like this, just covering a variety of tricks and tactics that I use in production and mixing. Uh, and help maybe give you guys some insight into some of the things that go on behind the scenes that help bring these songs to life. Thank you guys for all you do. Have a great day.